Show thy mercy upon us, Alleluia, and grant us thy salvation, Alleluia. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come unto thee. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Graciously hear us, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty everlasting God, and vouchsafe to send thy holy angels from heaven to guard, charge, protect, visit, and defend all who dwell in this dwelling place. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.
In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. I will go unto the altar of God, even the God the joy and my gladness. Give sentence with me, O God, and defend my cause against evil wicked man. For thou art God, my strength and is present with me. O send up thy light and thy truth, and lead me bring to thy holy hill and thy dwelling. And may I go unto the altar of God, even the God, the joy of my gladness, and upon the harp I'll give thanks unto thee, O God, my God. Why art thou so heavy, O my soul, why is quieter than me? O put thy trust in God, who will give him thanks, and my help, my confidence, and my God. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I will go unto the altar of God, even the God, the joy of my gladness. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who has made heaven and earth. I confess to Almighty God, to bless Mary, our Virgin, bless Michael the Archangel, to bless John the Baptist, Holy Apostles, Peter and Paul, and all the saints, and you, brothers and sisters, that I am seen thought, word, and deed, through my fault, through my fault, the most grievous fault. And I ask, Blessed Mary, our Virgin, bless Michael the Archangel, blessed John the Baptist, Holy Apostles, Peter and Paul, and all the angels, and you, brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy upon you, forgive your sins, and bring you to everlasting life. The Almighty Merciful Lord grant us pardon, absolution, and remission of our sins. Now turn again and quicken us, O God, and the people may rejoice in thee. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come unto thee. The Lord be with you. As newborn babes, Alleluia, desire ye the sincere milk of the world. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Sing we merrily unto God, our helper. Make a che noise, cheerful noise unto God, our Jacob. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. As newborn babes, Alleluia, Desire ye the sincere milk of the world. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Christ eleison, Christ eleison, Christ eleison. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Glory be to God on high, and peace to us men of good will. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee. We glorify thee, we give thee thanks for thy great glory. O Lord God, heavenly King, God the Father Almighty. O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, that takes away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. That takes away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. 
Thus at the right hand of the Father have mercy upon us. For that were only holy, the only the Lord, the only Jesus Christ, with the Holy Ghost, our most high, in glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Grant, we beseech thee, Almighty God, that as we have now fulfilled this Paschal festival, so in the, our life and conversations we may be grace continually to show forth the same through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. <coughs> the lesson from the Epistle of Blessed John the Apostle. Dearly beloved, Whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world, and this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Who is he that overcometh the world, but he that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God? This is he that comes to water and blood, even Jesus Christ, not by water only, but by water and blood. And it is the Spirit that breatheth witness, because the Spirit is truth. For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one, and there are three that bear witness in earth, the Spirit, and the water, and the blood. And these three agree in one. If we receive the witness of man, the witness of God is greater. For this is the witness of God, which he hath testified of his Son. He is he that believeth on the Son of God hath witness in itself. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. In the day of my resurrection, saith the Lord, I will go before you unto Galilee. Alleluia. After eight days, when the doors were shut, Jesus stood in the midst of his disciples and said, Peace be unto you. Alleluia. The Continuation of the Holy Gospel according to John. At that time, the same day at evening, being the first day of the week, when the doors were shut, where the disciples were assembled for fear of the Jews, came Jesus and stood in their midst, and said unto them, Peace be unto you. And when they had, had so said, he showed them his hands and his side. Then were the disciples glad when they saw the Lord. Then said Jesus unto them again, Peace be unto you. As my Father hath sent me, even so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said unto them, Receive ye the Holy Ghost. Whosoever sins ye remit, they are remitted unto them, and whoever sins ye retain, they are retained. Now Thomas, one of the twelve, called Dynamis, was not with them when Jesus came. The other disciples therefore said unto him, We have seen the Lord. But he said unto them, Except I shall see his hands and the print put my nails, and put my ha finger unto the print of his nails, and thrust my hand into his side, I will not believe. And after eight days again his disciples were within, and Thomas was with them. Then came Jesus, and the doors being shut, and stood in the midst, and said, Peace be unto you. Then saith he to Thomas, Reach hither thy finger, and behold my hands, 
and reach hither thy hand, and thrust it into my side, and be not faithless, but believing. And Thomas answered and said unto him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen, and yet have believed. And many other signs truly did Jesus in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book. But these are written, that ye might believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing ye might have life through his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning and welcome to this online broadcast from the Oratory of St. Faustina on this Divine Mercy Sunday, and our first Sunday on YouTube Live rather than Facebook Live. For those of you that join us up for the first time, we've been on Facebook Live for about the last four years or so, um, but due to some technical difficulties over there, we made the move over to YouTube Live, and we're looking forward to what future that has here on YouTube rather than on the Facebook. So welcome if this is your first time finding us, um, and welcome back for any that are coming from the Facebook uh, after a couple of weeks of absence because of technical difficulties. Please do visit the website. The link is in the description of the YouTube channel. Um, to visit our website, learn out a little bit more about who we are as a parish, an online parish here, but also as part of the Independent Catholic Christian Church one of many independent Catholic jurisdictions, kind of stemming from the old Catholic tradition. <clears throat> uh, on our website, you can also find the ordinary of the Mass that we pray here with the traditional Mass. So you can follow along the prayers each individual Sunday. So the ordinary of the Mass will have all of the prayers that don't change from Sunday to Sunday. Um, and there's also links there you can check out each week to find the propers, so the readings and the individual colleagues, individual prayers for each individual. Sunday, so you can follow along or prepare for Mass ahead of time by maybe spending some time with those readings before Mass um, to kind of be able to enter a little bit more into um, the Mass, even though it is virtual. Uh, we also invite you to join us after Mass for a virtual coffee hour. It's about a half an hour or so usually of just chatting to see what's going on in each other's lives. So we can try to bring this online community together in some, some way. So we just spend half an hour or so just chatting, seeing what's going on in each other's lives. So certainly all are welcome, um, and that's at 11 o'clock Eastern Time. So right after Mass, please do join us for that virtual coffee hour. And for those of you that are maybe in other parts of the country or other parts of the world where this may be a bit early for you, um, you can certainly join us for the virtual coffee hour before you view the recording of the Mass, if that works better for you in your own time zone. So please do try to join us for that virtual coffee hour time to come together for a little bit of fellowship um, in this virtual um, parish, in this virtual world. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. So today we're celebrating the eighth day in the octave of Easter, traditionally known as Low Sunday, kind of in a contrast to last Sunday being Easter, that great festival of Easter. This is a smaller version of it, which every Sunday is a mini Easter. But this is again a special one being the Sunday after Easter. And traditionally on this low Sunday, the Sunday after Easter, all of those who would have been baptized at the Easter vigil many, many years ago, would have actually worn their white baptismal garments through that entire week. They would have kept those garments on. And today would have been the first time that they shed those garments and they enter in and join the rest of the congregation as full members of the body of Christ, full members of the church, as true children of God. This would have been the first time they would have joined and stayed for the entire Mass. Remember, many, many, many years ago, uh, 
any of the catechumens, any of those preparing for uh, baptism entrance into the church, or those who are not yet baptized, would have left after the homily. They would have left and gone um, gone home. They would not have stayed for the second part of the Mass, the liturgy of the Eucharist. So this would have been the first time that they would have stayed for that, apart obviously from the Easter Vigil itself. So long history with this low ma that this low Sunday uh, tradition. But more recently, it's become known also as Divine Mercy Sunday. So with Divine Mercy Sunday becoming a feast, and it didn't become a feast until 2000. So in a lot of the more traditional parishes, particularly those using the traditional liturgy like we are here, it's not always celebrated there because the latest edition of the um, traditional liturgy came out in 1962, and this did not become a feast until the year 2000. So if you're using the old calendar, it doesn't actually show up. Um, but this is a feast that grew out of tradition. In 1935 was the first time that this Mass was celebrated in honor of our Lord's Divine Mercy. When this beautiful image of Divine Mercy was first venerated and the Mass was offered in, for the Divine Mercy. And it was offered by Father Sapochko, the spiritual director of Sister Faustina, now Saint Faustina. And one of the beautiful things about praying this Mass in the traditional form for this Divine Mercy Sunday is these are the same readings, the same prayers that Father Sapochko would have prayed, the same readings and same prayers that Sister Faustina would have heard on that first feast of Divine Mercy. So this isn't a brand new feast that came out of absolutely nowhere. It was born out of tradition, and it's already speaking to what was already present in the Gospel and, and the Epistle today. There was no need to change the readings or come up with something new. Our Lord was highlighting what was already here, his great love and his great mercy. And this feast came about, or an end, our Lord's appearances to St. Faustina came about during some of the worst times in our world. Many have said that the 20th century was the bloodiest century in world history. Now, we certainly had a lot of bloody times in history, with a lot of battles, a lot of wars, a lot of times of tension. But I think we can agree that the 20th century was certainly a bloody time. And these appearances to St. Faustina happened shortly before the Second World War. What a better time for our Lord to ask and beg for us to turn to his love and mercy than before those great atrocities, to try to stem some of that, to keep some of that from happening, and certainly to give us a, some hope in those dark times, to be able to turn to his love and mercy. St. Faustina, was told by our Lord in one of her visions to have this image painted, this image of the div his divine mercy. And he showed her the image of himself, the way he is here, walking towards us, walking towards her, walking towards us, with his hand in blessing and pointing at his heart, which is opened for us. This is a beautiful image that he had her have commissioned, so she commissioned this, an artist to paint this beautiful image so that we can turn to our Lord's love and mercy. But as he told her in one of her, her visions, it's not in the beauty of the image itself. It's not in the paint strokes, the, the brush strokes, the color of the paint that gives it this beauty, but in his own grace and mercy that flows through this, that truly gives it its purpose and its reason for veneration. And our Lord told her to have on every image of this divine mercy the words, Jesus, I trust in you. Without those words, it's a beautiful image. It's an absolutely beautiful image of our Lord showing his mercy. But those words are what truly gives us the challenge. Trusting in our Lord can be difficult. For me at least, trusting in our Lord in the, in the most difficult times of life, when things just don't seem to be going well, it's so much easier to just 
you know, tighten up the bootstraps and trust in myself. It's hard to trust in God sometimes. But there's the challenge, is to place our trust in Him. Whether things are going well or not so well, place our trust in Him. And that's a huge challenge for many of us, to constantly be trusting our Lord. And it's something we need to be reminded of all the time. So it's certainly a great blessing to me to have those words above this altar each and every day, to remind myself that I need to place my trust there rather than in myself. For those that were baptized last week, their sins were cleaned away with baptism. They were restored to their original innocence. But they were not freed from the struggles of life. For our Lord didn't come and destroy the world and destroy all of the struggles and hardships of life, but rather came and entered into them. So that rather than removing all of these obstacles, all these difficulties in our life, he now walks with us in them. And that's a great consolation when we remind ourselves that we're not alone in any of the struggles we have in our life. Our Lord is there with us. Our Lord came, he experienced the human condition. He knows what it is to be us and is walking with us each and every day through these difficulties in life. But we need to turn to him in trust and turn to him in for mercy. And in today's gospel, not only do we hear the disciples being given this great gift of being able to remit sins, this great gift that's been passed down through apostolic succession to all of us, to each of us, that we have the ability to have our sins forgiven, not just the once in baptism, but over and over again as we fail through life. Whenever we fail, we can again get up and turn to our Lord in love and mercy and be strengthened in that time of need. We can go to the sacrament of reconciliation whenever we need, be forgiven of our sins, and be given the grace to continue on, the grace and the strength to continue on trying to do well, trying to trust in our Lord, and trying to keep his commands. It's a beautiful tradition and it's a beautiful gift that our Lord gave the disciples today in the gospel. But then he also shows mercy to Thomas. Thomas said he would not believe. He point blank said, I will not believe unless I put my hands in his, the nail prints and put my fist into his side. I will not believe. Jesus would have had every reason to be angry with Thomas. And he would have had every reason to even punish Thomas. And we tend to think of God oftentimes in those terms of, if I do something wrong, God will punish me. If I don't do this or I do this wrong, I fail, God will be mad and will punish me somehow. But that's not what our Lord showed here. Our Lord appeared again when Thomas was with them and had mercy on him and gave him what he needed to believe. Not without some harsh words as well. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet believe. Could certainly be a little harsh to Thomas. But still gave him the love and mercy and encouragement to continue on forgiving him for his unbelief. And we're being given that same gift as well, that love and mercy each and every time that we stumble and fall and turn away from God's love, turn away from God's commands. We're being given this gift of love and mercy with our Lord constantly reaching out his hand to us to bless us, to bring us home to himself. And we're being given also through Sister Faustina this beautiful chaplet, the chaplet of divine mercy, where we can ask our Lord's intercession on ourselves, on those who we love and care for. And great graces have been promised to any who use this chaplet to ask for love and mercy for ourselves, for those we care for, but also for the whole world. 
And again, there's yet another challenge in this divine mercy image, in this divine mercy message. When we pray that beautiful chaplet, each and every prayer we're praying also for the whole world. And when you really stop and think about that, we're not just praying for us or for those who we care about, but we're praying for those who have wronged us as well. I think it's a beautiful piece, a challenging, but beautiful piece of that chaplet that we can't pray it for ourselves or for a family member alone or a friend alone, but we need to pray it for the whole world as well. We can't pray and ask and beg for mercy for ourselves without also begging mercy for those who have wronged us, for those who have done whatever they may have done to us in any way, or those who have done unspeakable tragedies to the world. All of those people also are deserving and needing of God's love and mercy. And we're being called to not only ask for our own needs, but theirs as well in this beautiful chaplet. This divine mercy image is so rich. This divine mercy message is so rich. And the diary of St. Faustina is absolutely beautiful and filled with the messages of our Lord calling us back to himself, calling us to trust him. I encourage you, if you have never taken a look at the diary of St. Faustina, to do so, to read through it. But don't just read through it quickly. Take some time with it. It doesn't quite read like a typical book or diary. It certainly is a little bit a little bit jumbled and out of order, um, which is explained in there with the history of it. But spend some time with these beautiful words of Sister Faustina, some time with the, Lord, the words of our Lord spoken to her, his messenger of mercy. I wish you a very happy feast of divine mercy and a happy low Sunday in this beautiful Easter season. We are still in this season of Easter, and we should still be celebrating the Lord's resurrection. And again, welcome to this online broadcast on YouTube for the first time. And I guess now, like every YouTuber, I can now ask you to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon so you can be notified each and every Sunday when we have Masses. And again, please do join us for our virtual coffee hour as well. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all worlds, God of God, light of light, very God of very God, begotten of all things, the Father before all things were made, for us men and shall be from the from heaven. <clears throat> and the Cardinal the Holy Ghost and the Virgin Mary is made man, is crucified under Pontius Pilate and severed and buried. On the third day he rose again in the scriptures and set into heaven and at the right hand of the Father, come again quick of the dead, whose kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds in the Father and the Son, and with the Father and the Son worshiped and glorified, both by the prophets. And I believe in the Holy Catholic and the Church. I acknowledge one baptism for remission of sins, and look for the resurrection of the dead and the life for the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray.
the angel of the Lord descended from heaven, and said unto the woman, He who you seek is risen, as he said, Alleluia. Receive, Holy Father, my living God, the spotless flesh, for the worthy servant offering to the mad living and true God, for any mercy and offense and negligence, all faith comes to the living part and the beginning of the everlasting life. Amen. We offer unto the Lord a cup of salvation, humbly beseech in thy mercy, and sight of thy majesty, and smell savor for our salvation of the whole world. Amen. Now let's bring contract names up to the Lord's act life. Please please be the Lord God. Come up and sit down with thy most happiness right there in the name. Receive all the tribulation, joy, and the passion, resurrection, and of our Lord Jesus Christ. And now the blessed Mary, John the Baptist, Holy Apostle, Peter and Paul, and all the saints, fail in our salvation. I was to Christ our Lord. Amen. 
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable, God the Father Almighty. Through all ages, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It's very meat right on bunny duty at all times and all places. It's very meat right bottom duty that we should at all times indeed glorify thee, O Lord, but chiefly at this time when Christ our Passover is sacrificed. For he is the very Lamb which has taken away the sins of the world, who hath doth hath destroyed death, and by his rising again hath restored us to life. And therefore with angels and archangels, thrones and dominions, come and come to the hosts, evermore praising thee, saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth to full thy glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. <coughs> Most merciful Father, and through Jesus Christ, the Son of the Son of the bless these gifts, these presents, these holy and spotted sacrifice, both first of all, gather to spots, peace and gather the whole world, together with the sacred mangina, our bishop, and the faith of the faith, and all the servants and handmaids. The Lord, and faith is steadfast, manifest, and the behalf of himself, the sacrifice of praise for himself, and the only one soul, with all patience, and faith, and true, come with being true. Thank you, and the rest of us, glory, and pray. The apostle of God, Peter Paul, and James, and Paul, and the faith, and the faith, and the faith, John Paul, because we do not say it's the affection of Christ our Lord. Amen. I beseech thee, O Lord, graciously accept this oblation of thy servants and the whole family, order our days in peace. Put us in the nation and the form of their elect. Thank you, Christ our Lord. Amen. God save the Lord, we beseech all things, make this oblation blessed, approved, accepted, perfectly holy offering. Compress the body and blood of thy dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. The day before he suffered, took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes lifted to heaven, God his mighty Father, give thanks unto thee. He blessed, he brake, he gave disciples, saying, Take and eat all of this. For this is my body. <coughs> Likewise, after seven ten, the God shall only venerable hands, again giving thanks unto thee. He blessed, he gave disciples, saying, Take and drink ye all of it. For this is the chalice of my blood, named from testament, the mystery of faith, which hath few and many remission of sins. And I forgive these things to the remembrance of me. Wherefore, all these things and so on, please, and we call us remember the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, who is resurrection, then glory, ascension to heaven, who is in the body, this pure victim, this holy victim, this immaculate victim, the holy bread of eternal life, the child's everlasting salvation. Let's say, let the crumbs and accept that, since he gave the evil sacrifice back in Abraham, all that we have to open unto thee. We only beseech thee, my God, grant thee, all shall be held in majesty. So we take the ultimate of the same body. And blood of thy Son, and the connection of grace, the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And we also serve the God before us, and with peace. To the Lord, and the Father, and peace, as a guest of the Lord. Amen. To us sinners also. John, the Father, and 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 the Father
Find the signature sign within the master key. Put it there. Try open the signature sign. Read the signature sign. Read the signature sign. Read the signature sign. Read the signature sign. Click in. Put it all upon us. Through him, with him, in him, God the Father, and the Holy Ghost, all honor and glory are thine, through all ages, world without end. Amen. Let us pray, commend the same precepts and God the Father, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, and it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those trespassed against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, beseech from all evil, past, present, and come, to bless and glory, Mary, Mother God, and bless Peter, Paul, and Andrew, and the saints. In peace in the day, help live in mercy, seeing from all sin, safe from all distress. The same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Who lives and reigns in the Holy Ghost? God, through all ages, world without end. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. I receive the bread of heaven and call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy. Lord, I am not worthy. Lord, I am not worthy. Almighty God, have mercy upon you, forgive your sins, and bring you to everlasting life. The Almighty Merciful Lord grant you pardon, absolution, and remission of your sins. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Lord, I am not worthy to enter my roof, but speak the word only, and my soul shall be healed. Lord, I am not worthy to enter my roof, but speak the word only, and my soul shall be healed. Lord, I am not worthy to enter my roof, but speak the word only, and my soul shall be healed. For those who cannot receive, we offer the following prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things and long for you in my soul. So that I cannot receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart, as though they have already come. I embrace you and I myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Reach hither thy hand, and behold the prints of the nails. Alleluia! And be not faithless, but believing. Alleluia! Alleluia! The Lord be with you. Let us pray. We beseech thee, O Lord our God, that these holy mysteries, which thou hast given us for our assurance of thy redemption, may both in his life and in the which is come be profitable for the healing of our souls. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia. May my God bless you. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. The beginning of the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. In the beginning was the Word, Word was with God, Word was God. The same in the beginning with God, all things were made by Him, without Him was nothing that was made. In Him was life, and like man, life and darkness, darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God whose name was John, came much to be witness of the light, that all men through him might believe. He was not the light, but when witness of the light, the true light and the miracle cometh in the world. He was in the world, well, my, him, world him knew him not. He in his own, his own received him not, but as many received him, he gave the power to become the sons of God, even that believe in his name, which is born not of the will of flesh, nor the will of man, but of God. And the word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. And we behold the glory of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Thanks be to God. <laughs> 